Johnny, and this is Naya, <laughs> and we are sitting in front of our <laughs> microwave. Um, this week's video, I thought I would. Yeah, we are gonna make popcorn, 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 according to Ryan, right? Yep, popcorn. <laughs> okay, so let me give you the background story. Popcorn. Um, the other day, I found myself having a snack attack like normal, and I um. I said to the husband, hey, go grab a bag of popcorn out of the pantry and, make, and you know, throw it in the microwave for me. And I hear this, yeah. uh, I can't find any. And I'm like, oh, I know there's some in there, you know, yada, yada. Right no, I have to sit here because if I stand up, I'm too tall. You want to sit on my lap? You want to sit on my lap? Oh, he does. Hmm. Okay, anyway, so I say, go make me some popcorn. And he's like, we don't have any. And I'm like, of course, I don't believe him. Then I get up and check for myself. And lo and behold, we're out of popcorn. So I was like, crap, what am I going to eat now? <laughs> and I remembered that I had some kernels. All right, let's show everybody our popcorn kernels. And I bought these kernels three years ago at least. Um, I have a bag. Kernels come in a bag, you know, like this. And some of you popcorn purists out there will be laughing at me right now because you only make popcorn from kernels. Um, and they also come in like little containers like this. Now, popcorn sold this way is super cheap. I mean, it's, I think this cost me like $1.50, like I said, three years ago. This is like a buck. <laughs> um, but usually you need like an air popper, or I used to do my mom's old technique, which was, you know, you get a big pan, and you put a little oil on the bottom, and you like shake it over the heat of the stove for like eight hours, and your arms burn, which is a fun way to make popcorn. Don't get me wrong. But um, I thought I would show everybody my little trick of making uh, your own 100-calorie packs. Ryan's going very impatient and um, moving to Triscuits before the popcorn is made. And he has to do peepees. Do you want to go try to do peepees on your own? No. Okay. Anyway, uh, so I did this trick to make my own 100 calorie packs, and I thought it would be something kind of cool to share with everyone because those little 100 calorie packs are kind of expensive, and this would be really an economical way um, to make your own quick 100 calorie popcorns at home. So, sorry, <laughs> toddler's getting a little bit crazier as he gets older. So here's the trick. I have my scale here, and I have a regular old lunch brown paper bag um, that I'm just going to open, and I'm going to weigh out two tablespoons of kernels, which, well, actually, three tablespoons. See, I was going by the bag, right? The bag says two tablespoons of on pop kernels is 100 calories. Three tablespoons is 120 according to the thing. So there's always discrepancy when it comes to popcorn. But we'll do two tablespoons so I can show you the amount. And according to this bag, which is a Jolly Time bag, that would be exactly 100 calories, 0.5 grams of fat, and 6 grams of fiber. Now, that is if all the kernels pop, which they never do, so you're actually kind of shying away. So I would do between two and three tablespoons. And a tablespoon, two tablespoons is 33 grams. I'm going to sit. You want to sit. Are you tired? Yeah. Hold on. Let's measure this out. we got to measure out 33 grams. Oh, oh, make a mess. <laughs> no, you can't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> Wait. Oh, can you hear them falling all over the floor? Because I'm trying to do this sitting. <laughs> And stick more in there. Okay, that's like 36, so it's a little over. I can kill us. All right, so they're just in the bag. Now, I've tried a few ways. I've actually sprayed some nonstick cooking spray and put salt right in the bag, um, you know, pre-popping, and I've done it without, and what I've noticed is there's no difference, really. I mean, unless you're gouging some oil in there and doing some other stuff, um, these will just pop right in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing is just rolling the top, and I want to roll it so it basically um, will puff up while it gets the air inside gets heated. So I'm going to put it in the microwave just like this. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm going to set it for two minutes. It's not going to take two minutes. You have a straw. It's not going to take two minutes. What we're going to do is we're going to listen until the kernels start. There's a lot of time in between pops. And, um, you know, you'll probably, once you start doing this at home, you'll know, you know what works for your microwave. But the first time you make it, camp out in front of the microwave like I'm doing now and just listen. And it'll start popping in a few minutes. My fingers are crossed. <laughs> 
And um, I'll show you then how I kind of do my light, low-calorie way of serving it, which I could talk about now. So, oh, it's popping. I should not talk that much because I'll probably miss it and then burn it on camera. But um, So what I have, what I'm going to do is I have non-stick cooking spray, and I have regular salt, which I use a lot, but I also found these cute little, like, popcorn seasonings, which... There's still a lot of sodium as if you're putting your own salt, but at least sometimes they add a little bit of extra flavor. So this is butter flavor. And, okay, hold on. And this is uh, white cheddar flavor. And I've used this, by the way, on cauliflower. Delicious. It's so good. Do you have to go pee beans? Go get started. I'll meet you in there. Okay? Go, 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 go. He's starting to go by himself. It's great. Okay, so I'm at a minute and 20 seconds. Oh, I'm going to stop it. Did you notice that there was no pops for a little bit? As soon as I get that no pop, maybe, I don't know, three or four seconds, I cut the time. I figure if there's um, still on pop kernels, that's fine. I can always make a little bit more. And it's so inexpensive. It's not that big of a deal. So you can see it got warm. Be careful when you open it, just like a regular microwave bag, because it's going to steam. And I got popcorn. Let me see if I can show you in the bag. Oh, do you see it? How cool is that? I mean, how cool is that? I think we've all been, like, fooled that you have to have, buy microwave popcorn. So then what I do, and I don't need my scale anymore, is I get my bowl, and I pour a little bit out, and I do a little quick, little quick spritz of non-stick cooking spray, just so that my salt or flavoring or whatever will stick. And then I'll pour a little bit more out. And I'll do another quick spritz. And I'll do another quick. And we'll see if this passes the toddler test. So there is your 100 calorie pack. How cool is that? All right, another spritz. Now, the spritzes will add up, you know, so I add this to, um, you know, a gram or to a fat. But again, it's still 100 calorie pack is good. Look what I made. I'm going to come over here and try some. Let's see if I can get it in my camera. It's like the Mikey test. Is it good? <laughs> He's just got beepies on the brain. Is it good though? Is it good? I got this. All right. I have to go and uh, help the little guy in the potty. He just reached for some more. Um, so anyway, I hope that helps. Sorry for my appearance. I didn't shower after my run today. And uh, we've been cooking and cleaning and doing all this crazy stuff all day. Um, but I just wanted to share that for this video of the week, and I hope it helps. And uh, comment if you have any questions, and we'll be back next week with something new. Not sure what. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs> Are you being goofy again?